Right fellows, to upgrade the Thulean Hammer, it's got some pretty tough steps, but I'm going to show you my tactics, and you know, it's really clear, and I'm not going to rush it for you. So, the first step when you've got the hammer, um, is to go to the spawn area, and you can see this purple glowing shocking kind of thing on the wall here. You want to get your hammer out, you want to hit it, and you want to carry that purple glow to the next symbol on the wall. Just follow the route I take here, go into the ice caves, and you want to smack that glowing purple into this rune here. And it's like a hot potato kind of thing, or past the bomb kind of thing. If you take too long taking the purple glow from one um, place to another, it resets back to the one you got it from, so it's pretty simple, but you'll do it. And you want to get stamina up as well, that's pretty useful. But yeah, once you've placed that purple glow into this symbol, you want to hit it again and take that purple glow to another symbol, which is down here. You want to follow the route I take here. You want to hit the wall with the uh, purple glow, and it'll go into that symbol. So this next one is pretty tough, actually, because you've got to kill a zombie underneath a doorway with the purple glow. And the purple glow only lasts for a certain amount of time so you've got to be quick and you've got to be pretty lucky really so basically I'm going to show you what to do this is when I fail you want to hit the uh, the purple glow on the wall take that purple glow all the way down here to this doorway and you've got to kill a zombie with that purple glow underneath the doorway sometimes you might not get there in time and sometimes a zombie might not be in that doorway to kill with the purple glow and also you might run out of time like I've done here so if that happens, um, you just go back to that wall, get the purple glow and try again. But I've got a really good tactic to make sure you get a zombie underneath this uh, doorway. So do what I do here, fellas. I've got about four to five zombies left at the end of the round. So what I'm doing is dragging the zombies outside of this area towards this part of the map here. It's just outside of the doorway room. And what I'm going to do is get these zombies at the end of the round to come to this perk machine here. When they get to this perk machine here, I'm going to run as fast as I can back through this room, through the doorway, got to kill the zombie under, up the stairs, and all the way back to that purple glow on the wall. And then I'm going to hit the purple glow, I'm going to run as fast as I can back down to the doorway, and hopefully, one of these zombies that you've dragged out of the room, has slowly walked to the doorway, and is there for you to kill. And as you can see, I've got one here, pretty lucky that fellas, and I killed it with the purple glow, and as you can see, on the symbol above the doorway, you can see the purple glow, and you've bossed it, fellas. But once you've done it, it's a great feeling. And then you want to put away your hammer, and then get your hammer out again, and the hammer will be glowing. I don't know if that's a glitch or... <laughs> but we're going to fucking go with it. And then you want to come into this room here, and you want to hit this part of the wall here. You can see another symbol on the wall. Hit it, and it'll start to glow, and the puzzle will spawn in, fellas. So the puzzle is basically a trial and error kind of thing. There's no like, you know, awesome tactic about it. It's basically leave a zombie end at round. Then there's going to be three puzzles. The first puzzle is really easy actually. Um, I'm going to start it here. Basically, you have to make all the purple glowing patterns face towards you to move on to the next puzzle. And um, yeah, if you shoot one block. It's going to turn some more blocks and it might, you know, turn in some other blocks as well. So it isn't that hard, to be honest. When you're in the game and you're shooting it, you'll understand which block to shoot and which block that'll change. And yeah, as you can see, I'm just trial and error. I'm shooting one, seeing if that'll work, shooting another. And eventually all the patterns that are purple are going to be facing you and you're going to boss that first puzzle. One tip that I can give you is when you shoot one block... Try and remember which other blocks it'll turn in or turn out towards you. Because then, you know, it might just make it a bit easier. But yeah, it's basically trial and error. Even if you shoot a purple block that's actually facing you, that is always a good thing to try because it might turn in some other blocks and then you shoot another block, you know, etc. But yeah, trial and error, move on to the next puzzle. And the next puzzle will spawn and it's going to be the whole of this wall. It'll be a bit tougher. And also you're going to see a skull spawn. So basically you can't shoot the purple glowing pattern which is right next to that skull. If you shoot it, it's going to reset and you're going to be starting again from the puzzle. So yeah, make sure you never hit it. And as you can see here, I'm just trial and error in it. I'm just shooting one and avoiding the block that's next to the skull. And yeah, trial and error, I'm shooting one block that isn't purple. And then I'm shooting another that is purple and, you know, I'm just turning and twisting some shit, fellas. And... Um, 
while you're doing this, you want to watch out for the corpse eaters that might spawn while you're doing the puzzle, because, you know, you're leaving some zombies and they can come and kill them. But yeah, the best tactic is to leave about two zombies so you don't have one runner at the end of the round. Come in and out of this place and just keep on shooting. And as you can see here, fellas, I'm just about to complete it. I'm just um, shooting one, shooting another, trial and error, and boom, I've bossed it. On to the final puzzle now. And it's going to have one skull again that you can't shoot the block nearest to it. And yeah, trial and error it. Um, I don't know if it's the same for you in your game, but what I did was, for this third puzzle, I started to complete the right side first. And then I completed the left side. And then I just like figured it out there. It's basically, when you're in the game, you'll, you'll understand it. It's very hard to explain, but you can't really explain trial and error. But yeah, fellas, just keep on trying and you're going to boss it. And when you do the third puzzle, you've bossed the puzzle step. So now on to the last step, and this is getting into the trial area to complete the upgraded Fulian Hammer. And this one is quite a tough one actually to actually get into the trial area. So you want to maybe leave a zombie end at round. You want to come to the overlook here. You want to get your hammer out. If you don't have your hammer out for this walking in invisible air step, you're going to fall off and die and the end of the game is going to be sad. So at the overlook, if you're looking out to the volcano... Um, you're going to see some lightning strikes, and basically this is like showing a path in mid-air, which you can't see that you've got to walk on. And basically what I did was come to the middle of the overlook, I had my hammer out, and I slowly walked out into the invisible bridge, or pathway, whatever you want to call it. And all I did, I just went straight. I think that's all you got to do, just keep on going straight. A lot of people are saying follow the lightning strikes and all this kind of shit but all i did was go straight i went straight slowly um the start of the round did um fuck me up as you can see here zombies can get on here so watch out for that if you got camouflage use it but then you know i was in solo quick revive got me up and all i did was like <laughs> run as fast as i can straight again and it took me into the trial and the trial is basically Getting to know the weapon, the upgraded fueling hammer. Because you're going to be using it for the easter egg if you're doing it. But basically you get into the trial area and you just do what it says on the screen. You press R1 to throw the hammer and you're just going to be killing some zombies. And that is one part of the, um, the um, trial. And then the second part of the trial is to throw the hammer and just like shoot the bubble around the zombies. And then just kill the zombies again. You just got to kill zombies with the hammer and you're going to complete it fellas. So easy as that. So yeah, you've got the upgraded hammer, and as you can see, you can lob it at the zombies and tech them out. Pretty cool effect. And also, if you want to upgrade another wonder weapon and you're in solo, go put the upgraded hammer in the pedestal at the top of the map right here. And that means that you can go pick up another wonder weapon and upgrade it and do what you want with it. So thanks for watching, fellas. Please subscribe, and I'll see you later.